Serena, I have something important I need to tell you. What is it, Bray? I have a new boyfriend. Really? But when did you break up with your boyfriend? Was it Tom? <laughs> you change boyfriends so often, I can't keep up. But this time, I think you'll really be surprised. In fact, I'm 100% sure it'll blow you away. I'm intrigued. Your new boyfriend's really that great? He is. Because, well, my new boyfriend is Brent. Brent? Do you mean... That's right. Your fiancé, Brent. Are you for real? Yes, it's true. Are you surprised? Are you telling me that you stole my fiancé? I'm so glad I surprised you. I couldn't wait to tell and see how you would react. I don't understand. Bree, aren't we friends? Yes, we are. We've been BFFs since high school. I knew you were a two-faced slut who liked to steal other people's boyfriends. But we've remained friends because I thought you would change one day. Well, didn't you know that I stole your boyfriend in high school? And that IT guy you were serious about a few years ago. What? Are you serious? When I see what my friends have, I can't help it. I want it for myself. But with Brent this time, you were engaged to him, and yet I was able to steal him from you. I figured I should let you know what's going on. Aren't I just the kindest person? I wouldn't call that kind. So I guess your engagement is off, and you two aren't getting married anymore. I can't believe it. He's a jerk, but you're an even bigger jerk. But I'm your best friend. You should be happy for me. I'll never be happy for you. Don't contact me ever again. If Brent and I get married, I'll be sure to let you know. And Serena, you're so pretty. I'm sure there's a great guy for you. I'm praying for you. If you ever need advice or someone's shoulder to cry on, I'm here for you. After all, we're best friends. Be quiet. Hello, Serena. How have you been? Who is this? Ooh, how cold. We've been best friends for over ten years, and this is how you greet me. I'm sad. We aren't best friends. What do you want? I have something really important I want to tell you, Serena. I'm not interested. I'm sure it's something stupid. Don't say that. Shouldn't you be happy that your best friend made an effort to get in touch with you after our long silence? I'm not happy. We aren't best friends or even friends anymore. Actually, I'm really busy, so please don't contact me anymore. Don't say that. I wanted to tell you that I'm getting married to Brent, your ex-fiancé. Is that so? Well, congratulations then. Is that all? Can't you be more happy for us? Legally, we're already married. But our wedding ceremony and all is next week. Oh, I wanted to apologize that I didn't invite you, Serena. No worries. I wouldn't have gone even if you had invited me. So there's no reason for you to apologize for that. Come on, that's not how you really feel. I know, deep down, you want to be at the wedding. Though I think you want to be the bride standing next to Brent, right? That's not how I feel. Anyhow, are we done? If there's nothing else, I need to get going. Like I said, I'm busy. It's just, everyone's busy. Most of the people I invited cannot attend. So, I won't mind if you came to the wedding. Excuse me? Oh, how dare you patronize me? 
I'm definitely not going to your wedding. I don't know why our friends from high school can't come. It's really a mystery. It doesn't concern me, and I'm not going. Is it because you still have feelings for Brent? Of course not. Oh, then there's no problem. Don't worry. I'll make Brent happy. It's your best friend's wedding. You could be more excited for us. Well, actually, I'm worried if you'll be okay. Huh? What do you mean? I'm sure you know everything about Brent. And knowing all of that, I have to applaud you for still wanting to marry him. What do you mean? Know everything about Brent? Well, like his cheating habit. It really bothered me when I was engaged to him, but I really loved him. So I told myself he would stop once we got married. I really wanted to marry him back then. But when I found out he cheated on me with you, I had enough and knew it wouldn't work out. What do you mean? Brent is faithful. I'm sure he found you really boring. That's why it was so easy to lure him away so we could be together. If that's what you want to think, go ahead. But you know, Bree, he messes around with many girls. Huh? He posts all these pictures on Instagram. Everyone knows what a player he is. Brent has an IG account? I didn't know. Brent probably thought I didn't know either. I still check his IG from time to time and see his latest conquests. I don't think it'll ever end, to be honest. I don't know anything about that. Hmm, I'm sure you're lying. And I know you cheated on him as well. Excuse me. I heard you hooked up with Michelle's boyfriend. All our friends know this, and that's why they're avoiding you. Really? And why do you know this? All of our friends from high school know. We text each other about Brent's newest girl, and the poetic justice in the boyfriend stealer being duped by the boyfriend she stole. What? Everyone is laughing at my misfortune behind my back? Well, it really doesn't concern me. And you aren't in a position to get upset at Brent's affairs. You're cheating on him as well. Is that why everyone has ghosted me? Is that why they won't come to my wedding? I'm sure everyone has just blocked your number. But that isn't the only reason they're not attending your wedding. What do you mean? What other reason could there be? We're all in Paris at the moment. What? Paris? Why? Are you on a vacation together? They're here for my wedding. Your wedding? I don't understand. I'm getting married in Paris. I don't believe it. I thought you're still in love with Brent. Oh, no way. I mean, I was upset at what you did, Brie. But Brent and I were approaching the end of our relationship. And now I rarely think about him. Except that I'm so happy we broke up when we did. Are you marrying someone even better than Brent? How did you find an even better guy than Brent? First of all, Brent isn't a really great catch. Huh? I'll admit he's good looking and rather sweet, but he's unfaithful and a total womanizer. He hooks up with his friend's girlfriends, and as a result has very few friends left. His job is rather mundane, and it's not like he's powerful, rich, or anything. He's not a great catch or anything. How dare you say that about him? He's my husband, remember? Oh, that's right. I apologize. You guys have already turned in the paperwork and everything. Brent contacted me numerous times, begging me to take him back. But I'm happy I ignored all his texts. What? Brent wanted to get back together with you? I hate to say it, but he texted me a lot. To be honest, it became a nuisance. He told me that though he likes to play around, the only one he wanted to marry was me. As if I wanted to marry a two-timer like him. You're lying. He married me. That makes Brent mine and only mine. 
right? Michelle was looking at Brent's IG earlier today, and he posted a picture of a pair of champagne glasses with a view of a bed in the background last night. Last night? He told me he was working late. Didn't look like work. Anyhow, it doesn't concern me. Sorry if I said something that was none of my business. I wouldn't really worry about it. After all, you're going to make Brent happy, right? Wait, are you telling me the truth? I mean, we're legally married. We're living together. You wouldn't cheat if you're living together, right? Why don't you ask him? But remember, you were unfaithful to him as well. Ah, oh, maybe he found out. In any case, you're married now, so I would tread carefully. And most importantly, I'm happy now, so please don't bother me anymore. My wedding. It's next weekend. And for my friends, practically none of them are attending. Everyone is busy, or so they say. Can you please convince them to come? Practically none of your friends. Oh, that's really sad. It's a really big church, so it'll be awkward if there are only a few people from my side. I feel really bad I didn't invite you, Serena. But of course you can come. So will that make us even? I told you I was not going to your wedding. Plus, I'll still be on my honeymoon in France next weekend. So there's no way I'll be there. And all our friends said they won't be there as well. But why? We're all friends. And Serena, you're my best friend. Bree, you're the only one who thinks that. With all the boyfriend stealing you do, honestly, who would want to stay friends with you? And we all think it's a matter of time before you and Brent divorce. Why would anyone want to buy a wedding gift for a couple whom we know will divorce? Well, how do you know we're going to divorce? You recently got married and both of you have already had affairs. Only a fool would think that the two of you are going to live happily ever after. I'm going to do my best to not end up like you two. My lawyer fiancé and I will live happily ever after. Lawyer? Well, how dare you marry someone with a high-paying job like a lawyer? I chose him because he's a great guy, not because of his profession or salary. I'm not you. I don't steal my friend's boyfriends just because I want them for myself. I'm not a nightmare like you. You didn't have to say all of that. Please, come to my wedding. You don't need to buy me a wedding gift. Thanks for the invitation, but I deeply regret that I am unable to attend. I wish you all the best with your two-timing scumbag husband. And never contact me ever again. When Brent came home that night, Bree confronted him about his affairs. He readily admitted that he had been seeing other women. However, Brent had proof Bree was cheating on him as well. He threatened to sue her if she filed for a divorce. Unable to get a divorce, they went ahead with the wedding ceremony as planned. And as expected, there were many empty seats on the bride's side, making it very awkward. Bree's friends cut off all contact with her, so she had no one who would hear her side of the story. At the end, Bree and Brent filed for divorce six months after they got married, making everyone wonder why they got married in the first place. Hey, Sarah! WTH! What the F is my stuff doing in your room? My bag? My jewelry? God only knows what else is in here. What are you talking about? I was looking all over the place for my bag, and I just went into your room because there was literally nowhere else left to look. And lo and behold, there it was all the way behind your dresser. Hold up. What bag? I don't know anything about any bag. So then tell me why all my missing stuff just happened to be all in your room? I don't remember lending you any of this stuff. I'm telling you, I have no idea. Can you just hold on until I get home? It's kind of hard for me to say anything until I at least see what you're talking about. 
Oh, give me a break! This dress with the flowers is mine too! What? Okay, stop right there. You mean the dress with the light blue flowers? Yeah! That's my dress! Craig gave that to me! Excuse me? You mean Craig, my ex-boyfriend? Craig, the guy that you stole from me? No, I mean my boyfriend, Craig. Craig originally bought this dress for me. You stole this dress from me when you stole him. Are you out of your mind? I didn't steal my own dress from you and I definitely didn't steal my boyfriend from you. Now I'm going to take back everything that's mine. There's nothing to take back. I didn't do anything. Mom and Dad are really pissed too, you know. Dad says we can't live with a thief in the house, even if they are family. Oh, you little brat. So, that's your plan, is it? I have no idea what you mean. I just want you to really think about what you've done. Stealing from your own sister. If you can't even admit what you've done, why shouldn't we treat you like some common criminal? After all, what is a thief if not a criminal? You can come home to pack up all your stuff. But after that, you got to go. So no one is on my side here? Typical. Of course not. I'm the favorite. Everyone is on my side. Besides, why would anyone want to live with someone who's gonna steal their stuff? Go live by yourself and steal your own stuff. <laughs> Hey, are you free? Hey, what's up? So, I've just been kicked out of my house. What? What happened? Hillary accused me of stealing her stuff. She said that I stole you from her, too. And she even said that the dress you gave me for my birthday was originally for her, so I stole that, too. Wait, what? She said you stole me? But I've always been your boyfriend. I never even met Hillary before I started coming over to your house to hang out with you. And of course I bought that dress for you. Yeah, but no one is listening to me. My parents just believe whatever Hillary says, as always. Ah, so that's how your family is. Well, to tell you the truth, there was a time when your sister actually asked me to leave you for her. Man, I'm not even surprised at this point. I told her no, of course. But I wonder if that's what sparked this. I'm really sorry if that's the case. I didn't really think she would do something this extreme. It's not your fault. No normal person could have guessed that. But I had a feeling this was going to happen sooner or later. I never expected it to be as crazy as getting framed for stealing my own dress. Sure. But she's told me before she's going to get me disowned. Honestly, it's almost a relief that it's finally happened. Oh, no kidding. Anyway, I guess I'm going to get a motel for the time being and then start looking for a place to live. Wait, Sarah. How come you haven't asked me for any help? What do you mean? Why don't you come live with me? What? I've been thinking about it for a while, but I couldn't say anything before. I know you have all those good memories with your grandpa, and that maybe makes it hard for you to think about leaving home. But, and sorry if this sounds bad, but I guess this is kind of like my big chance. I told myself that I would definitely ask you if this kind of thing ever happened. So, what do you think? Will you move in with me? And not just that. If everything goes the way I hope it will, I'm hoping that we can get married someday. Oh, Craig, I don't know what to say. And I know that you're not a big fan of my current place since it's on such a high floor. So actually, I've been getting periodic updates about potential places that might suit you. I figured that way we could find a place quickly if the chance ever came. So, um, what do you think? I'd love to. Thank you, Craig. I can't even tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. Oh, thank God. I was so nervous. <laughs> I've been waiting forever to ask you. In that case, I'll get to work right away. 
There's actually a place that I've had my eye on. I'll see if I can make an appointment for us to go look at it. And let me know if you have anywhere particular in mind, and I'll schedule a visit there as well. Okay. Thanks. All right. Let's do this. Are you still here? Will you hurry up and finish moving already? I've just finished packing, so I'll be out soon. Oh, are you really almost finished? I was just giving you a hard time about taking too long. You're no fun. It's not like I really have all that much stuff to begin with. I just have to put it all in the car and take off. I don't really care about the details as long as you're gone. I'm thinking maybe I'll turn your old room into my new closet. <laughs> oh, yeah? Anyway, I don't need any of the furniture in there anymore, so do whatever you want with it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do anyway. <laughs> you must be feeling so bad right now. Unloved, thrown out of the house by your own family. Poor baby. Uh, I think it's actually going to be a step up, actually. Oh, yeah? You don't have to act so tough. <laughs> Anyways, I guess it's a fitting end for criminal life. And by the way, you're out of the family. You might want to think of a new ass name. ta Hey, Sarah! Where did Craig go? What? Who is this? Hillary? We're not family anymore, remember? This isn't the time for that. It looks like Craig moved out of his apartment. What the heck is the meaning of this? Ugh, don't tell me you went to his apartment. Why shouldn't I go to my own boyfriend's apartment? Yeah, about that. He told me about how he rejected your, uh, advances. No, see? If Craig is dating the oldest daughter and you're kicked out of the family for being a thief, that makes me the oldest daughter. Ipso facto, he's dating me. Ipso facto? <laughs> I don't think that's how relationships work. <laughs> Whatever. Where is he anyway? We're living together in a new place. Huh? Yeah, the lease was almost up on his old place. And he knew that I'm not so great with heights, so he suggested that we find a place a little better suited to me. What the heck? He's still with you even though he knows that you're a criminal? Oh, that's right. He told me you messaged him the very next day after I moved out to tell him I'm a thief. So what if I did? After he read it, Craig told me that he is fully aware of the situation. Yeah, because I told him about the situation. That doesn't mean that he believes I'm a criminal or that he's your new ipso facto boyfriend or whatever. <laughs> what? But I told him about how you stole my stuff. You mean that thing you told him about taking back the necklace that I supposedly stole? The picture you sent? Yeah, so? We ordered that necklace special. It has our names engraved on it, dummy. What? They're in really small cursive, so it's a little hard to tell if you don't know how to look for it, but my name is definitely on there. My name, not yours. Are you freaking kidding me? So all your picture really did was prove that you're the real thief here. <laughs> not that he needs any proof. Even without that, of course he believes me. I don't believe you. So about that necklace and that dress... I want you to leave them both with Aunt Bree. No! Come on, it's not like you can go around wearing a necklace that has my name engraved on it. And the dress won't even fit you. I'm two sizes smaller than you. Hey! You don't have to say that! Sarah! Hey! How much do you make per month? Are you serious? It's been three months since you messaged me last, and this is what you have to say? It's the house! 
Did you know mom and dad don't own the house? They're just renting! Uh, yeah. That's been the case for like two years now. What? Wait, you didn't know? What is going on? It's grandpa's house! Dad has lived here his whole life! Yeah, and Grandpa died two years ago. And in his will, he left the house to Aunt Bree. So that makes Aunt Bree what? Our landlady? It would appear so. But why? Dad is the oldest. Doesn't the oldest usually get the house? I mean, no one has really told me all the details or anything. But I guess Dad got into some debt or something when he was younger. Grandpa ended up paying the debt for him on the understanding that it would be coming out of his inheritance. Really? It looks like that ended up materializing as Aunt Bree getting the house in the end. But it wasn't really good for anyone to have us move out after living there all that time. So Dad worked out an agreement with her to rent the house. Okay, whatever. About that rent. How much do you make a month? What's it to you? Dad can't afford the rent all by himself. I'm pretty sure that Aunt Bree made a pretty reasonable rental agreement, though. Really? $2,000 per month? In that location and with that amount of space? I think the house would go for at least $3,500. We were getting it for a bargain. Well, we can't pay! Mom and Dad are losing their minds! Ah, uh, I guess that makes sense. I was covering like half of the rent up until now. You were? But since I moved out, it stands to reason Dad has to cover all of it by himself. Although whatever else you can say about Dad, you can't really say he makes a lot of money. <laughs> hey, it's not funny! Since when doesn't he make a lot of money? You know his company went out of business three years ago? He took a pretty massive pay cut when he joined his new company. Like 15k a year. It was that bad? That's why I was helping out with the rent. So, wait. Seriously. How much money do you actually make? Well, I guess about twice as much as Dad right now. For real? Well, then you have to keep helping us with the house. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, because your family is in trouble. It's your job to help us. Is that right? Who was it that called me a thief and chased me out of the house again? And didn't you say something about how I was no longer considered part of the family? Forget about all that, okay? We're like three months behind on the rent right now. If we don't pay it all by next month, we literally have to leave. If you help us out, I'll forgive you and we'll let you move back into the house, okay? So please hurry up and just pay this off for us. Oh, and one more thing. Mom and Dad told me to tell you that they'd like you to take over the entire rent from here on out. <laughs> Let me just think about that for a second. Pass. What? Why? I told you that we'd let you move back in, didn't I? Yeah, the thing is, I don't need you guys to let me do anything. I didn't do anything wrong in the first place. You stole Craig! But as I said, I'm willing to overlook that. How about this? Why don't you tell Mom and Dad the complete and unabridged truth about what happened? Admit to them about how you lied about me being a thief so that you could have me thrown out of the house. Why don't we just call it water under the bridge? You know what? Forget it. Even if you tell them, I don't really feel like coming back anyway. Why not? Craig and I are getting married. What? I seem to remember you telling me to get a new last name. <laughs> anyway, we're making our own family and our own home. But... Hold on. Okay, fine, whatever. You can still give us the money, can't you? It's just $4,000 per month. That's nothing for you, right? Wow, that's interesting to hear from someone who doesn't even work. Hey, don't bring me into this. How about mom? She doesn't work either, does she? You know she doesn't. That's probably the first thing that you guys should figure out. You guys should be embarrassed about jumping straight to charity when you could be working. How can you say that? Because this is not the time to cuddle you or sugarcoat things. You have to hear this straight up. I have absolutely no intention of helping you even one bit. 
How can you sleep at night? With my fiance. Ta da now. I have no idea what my parents thought they were going to do about the rent when they agreed to kick me out of the house. But anyway, my mom messaged me the next day furious, saying that the rent was my responsibility, same as ever, and that I needed to hurry up and pay it. I didn't want to deal with any of that anymore, so I changed my phone number and cut off contact. And without my financial support, my parents and sister were left totally unable to afford the house. They ended up having to move into a place more representative of their means. But it gets better. My mom and sister refused to work. Same as ever. My dad started to wear down under the pressure of shouldering the entire burden of supporting three adults by himself until he broke down, served my mom with divorce papers, and fled. As for my mom and sister... Some relatives who couldn't bear to overlook things scolded the two of them until they both found jobs that could provide them with housing. But knowing them, it'll only be a matter of time until they're fired for slacking off and kicked back out into the cold, unfeeling night. <laughs>